Between a human being and the forests go back a long way. From time immemorial, man has learned more from Mother Nature than he has learned from any institution. A forest is not a human second home. It is his origin, his roots, his beginning, and visiting a forest will always be a man's true homecoming. The sights and sounds of Karnataka is embellished by the greenest of gems. At the heart of Karnataka lies Jagara Valley, or as they call it with Lao, Bhadra. From the innocence of pristine rivers to the piety of thick clouds. From the richness of lush backwaters to the selfless pastures of greenery. The wholehearted warmth of a cradle called Bhadra is as close to a man as the embracing of the enchanted breeze on a lonely hilltop. This enthralling landscape and climatic conditions makes it a suitable place for a creature that is as beautiful as the forest itself. The legendary animal adorned by golden hair and pitch dark stripes. The animal that has fought for its survival for centuries. The emphatic cat that rules Bhadra with grace, the majestic tiger. Each inch of this natural treasure trove is worth a fortune in the human world, but it is priceless when it comes to human existence itself. Beauty comes with more than its fair share of dangers and threats. Every forest has an enemy and there is no bigger enemy than the human desire. This tale is about the untold act of dedication, a gesture that is filled with humility and sacrifices, a silent movement hidden deep within the jungles of Bhadra.
Jeep patrolling is one of the easiest ways to keep an eye on the park. The Jeep tracks spanning all across the park enables the forest staff to swiftly cover most of the reserve forest area. Though Jeeps are multi-terrain vehicles which can patrol in most of the areas, there are some places that man-made locomotives cannot reach. As the terrain becomes challenging, the patrolling too becomes back-breaking. The protection wholly lies on the foundation of conservation itself. Bhadra rests its hope on one force that keeps it alive. There are some men who are as rooted as the trees that stand tall and grand. These men brave the nearly impossible terrain of Bhadra to protect her richness. They cover 15 kilometers of forest on foot each day. Now, Gustumarbekare, Malayan early, Chalin early, Bisle early, Gustumar Kandi, Kalan, the Tingan Gatle, Irti. Along the patrolling areas, one can find an imperial spread of bamboo and teak amidst which roam around the prosperous wildlife of Bhadra. Not to mention, each step inside the jungle has to be treaded with caution and care. Govind Raju shares his experience of a close encounter with a tiger. Apart from patrolling on foot incessantly around the ear, alongside addressing daily trifles and protecting the forest in all possible ways, these people are disconnected from the modern world and are detached from their families for months together.
since it is very hard to navigate and study the intricacies of this massive park for the transferable officers who are posted inside the jungle, it becomes critical to have the people who have immense knowledge about the forest. The forest department hires devoted native people who have known the forests for generations together. Long ago, Bhadra was a part of Jagara, which lied very close to the summer palace of the Maharaja of Mysore. With various memorable incidents at Jagara, it became a place very close to the heart of the warriors. Jagara Valley Wildlife Sanctuary was declared in 1952. It was later renamed as Bhadra Wildlife Sanctuary in the year 1974. 24 years later, in the year 1998, this gift of Mother Nature was declared as the 25th Tiger Reserve of India. Thirty-six anti-poaching camps are located across the vast jungles as a protective layer for Bhadra Tiger Reserve. These remote areas have no mobile connectivity. There is no ambulance with a red beacon which comes to their rescue in the time of an emergency. These men are nothing short of powerhouses in terms of not just physical strength but emotional strength as well. As they walk around unarmed, protecting this glorious landscape, the only voice that warms their heart is the rustling of trees. The only sight that makes them smile is the prosperity of animals. The only charm that drives them is the sound of rivers. The only prayer that keeps them going is Bhadra. Dead 
they stay away from the comfort of their homes to protect the homes of millions of creatures. As thick clouds gather and pour out in unison on the thirsty surface of Bhadra, the soul of Bhadra, the Somavahini River, joins the Bhadra River and flows with all its grandeur to the Bhadra Dam. The fullness of this dam fuels the lavish backwaters of Bhadra. This not just treats the eye with magnificence, but reddens the eye with responsibility as well. When backwaters of Bhadra encroaches the forest area, it opens up a simple route for the poachers. Malagal dalli jaste protection ke pramukhya ta korte bhi. Yakandre Malagala dam pulla ke kaade ke near toucha hote. Awa ka poaching ko anti murder ke la bari sulba hori ke. People spend days together on the boat patrolling the unceasing backwaters of Bhadra. Apart from being alert through the day and night, they spend most of the season on these waters. Boat patrolling becomes the most trusted source of light in the murky backwaters to protect Bhadra from the dark side of poaching. To monitor the activities in the backwaters of Bhadra, anti-poaching camps are also located along the shores of the backwaters. As leaves gracefully shed from the trees of Bhadra, a festive mood approaches the jungle at the onset of winter. Bhadra attracts tourists from all over the world. The tourists are all set to witness the beauty of Bhadra's rich wildlife. Apart from tourists and wildlife enthusiasts, hundreds of volunteers are invited by the department to be a part of the hearty cause of tiger estimation.
The comprehensive methods of trail walking and line transit methods are used to collect the valuable tiger estimation data. Since tigers are nocturnal and solitary animals, it is difficult for humans to sight them and moreover identify them individually. Like human fingerprints, tigers too have their uniqueness. Every tiger has a unique stripe pattern of its own. To determine the minimum population of big cats in the park, the department has adopted the camera trapping method. These cameras capture the patterns on both left and right flanks of the tiger, which helps in identifying the individuals. On a late winter night, the staff at one of the anti-poaching camps at Bhadra are joyously warming around the campfire alongside some words of camaraderie. Soon, this privilege too will be snatched away from them by the onset of the most ruthless season of Bhadra. The temperature at Bhadra rises beyond 35 degrees Celsius. The whole 500 square kilometers of lush green forest cover turns into a massive mass of fuel which can be easily triggered even by a minute spark somewhere very far away. As the summer transforms the complexion of the forest floor, the Indian rock python perfectly blends into it. With its great camouflage, it wanders about in the forest in search of its prey. Firefighting is an art nonetheless, but it is a form of art that cannot be enjoyed one bit. Every moment of this dodgy season is filled with agony and anxiety. Watchtowers are installed at crucial vantage points of the park from where the entire park can be monitored. A single kindle can burn thousands of hectares of forest and wildlife. Bari kasta ke sarat binchi utkarnal ke sarat matra. Na vyaktu kasta bhut kai thi aste na mige idu. Ondi kasta bhut orar kanta nor kanta. A binchi bida ke sarat matra bari kasta ke sar. Beliye atte gante vambat gante ke na vana gundi kala yildi do. आकड़े कूट रोड़ी कोगा थी के नालक को रहा थोड़ा ही लगने ला नालक को रहा गोष्ट थी के नालक ऐसे जना पारिश्रु बिद्धों को अति ताला गुड़ा ना पानी गुलो सुमारो ये बरका ये बरका गुलो कड़ा गुला आरार द सूट कर दो बुड़ा कर दो पानी सत्तो ये द आरार द सूट कर दे नीरे वाला नीडी वाला कुड़ियक नीरे वाला जाना वो ये तो जाना अब बंदा जिसे के यदा उरी यदा उरी अंतर ले वापस वो तो सर करकन अब बुड़ा दाल दर्द ने करकन मंदर ही के मत्त मूर जैसा मूर जैसा बैंक के रस्त्र लेटरिंग वो क्या कला सर लेटरिंग बड़ा ला मूर्ति सर ये न तीन क्या कला बैंक तक नित्य चीजों की तो सर नॉल अब ये न क्या ला बैंक तक मूर्ति सर नित्य कंदर मत लेटरिंग बड़ा ला ये नहीं ला आदर संकट यारिक बड़ा ये न तीन रो बड़ा नंगा किस नीर सिक्का ला ये नहीं ला सत्तो को बदुक्त 
most of the forest fire that has gutted the lung space of India's forest cover are due to the anger of Mother Nature's impulsive children. Dhobhadra lies in the sensitive zone surrounded by human populace that does not know the real importance of forest. There has been no forest fire in Bhadra since many summers. This can be attributed to the hard work and dedication by the staff for sowing seeds of concern in the hearts of the villagers. Elephants are the biggest mammals on land. Like human beings, they too are community animals and travel in huge herds. On any given day, elephants walk up to 15 kilometers by grazing about. Elephants are master navigators. They can send smell up to three kilometers. This helps them find water in the forest. Elephants do not sweat at all and communicate at a low frequency, a frequency that human ears cannot decipher. When they are grazing near the boundaries of the jungle, they get swayed by their favorite crops like sugar canes, corn and plantain grown by the farmers outside the forests. Bhadra is protected by solar-powered electric fences and elephant-proof trenches to stop the elephants from entering the human world. But their obsession for taste drives them to defy the boundaries of the park. This aggression adds salt to the wounds of the human-animal conflict in the nearby villages. A good relationship with these people can help them reduce the possible human threats to forests and wildlife. Things were not the same in Bhadra years ago. Various little hamlets had been living inside the park before this was declared as a reserve area. Humans are animals fueled by emotion and nostalgia. It is but for natural to feel agitated when nearly a thousand families are asked to leave their homes to make way for homes to animals. Tiger project marta idhar ei, Vishwa galu madla bari marta ei, nevela sakara kudu be kam thele, nevela le vandi enjoys kudu le bande, na mansala valse idhar. Kana ganna yekne bolu, nijo le namminda prani galu thamra akte idhar andre. So naav mansur bari kam the jagal naav ganna prani galu nirli am kundo, alinda naav yalla ila kari galu na mana le kudu putu, ravine ri ko kudu putu, so alinda phargale bolu ek na vista putu. Mana recenta ho ganna sandar putu le naav noori prani galu, nijo le naav kansala sa naav noori ganna naav ansi lella. Yakane prani galu ganna vishto ndu viridhu agita kar. 
ಮೊಬೈಲ್ ಇದ್ದಾಗ ನಮ್ಗೆ ನೋಡೇ ಭಯಬಿದ್ದು ಓಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ಸೊ ನಮ್ಮ ಬಲ ರಕ್ಷಣೆಗೋಸ್ಕರ ನಾವು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಅವನ್ನು ಅಟ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ಇದ್ವಿ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಬರ್ತಿರ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಗುಂಡ್ ಗಳ ಆಸದಿರ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬಂದೂಕಳು ಇದು ಮಾಡೋದು ಎಲ್ಲವಕ್ಕೂ ಅವಕ್ಕೂ ನಾವು ತೊಂದರೆ ಕೊಡ್ತಾನೆ ಇದ್ವಿ ನಿಜಕ್ಕೂ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಖುಷಿ ಆಯ್ತು ಏನಲ್ಲ ಊರ್ ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಒಂದು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಒಂದು ಫಲ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದೆ ಆ ಜಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲಾಖೆ ನಾವು ರಕ್ಷಣೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಪ್ರಾಣಿಗಳು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗಿದೆ ನಿಜಕ್ಕೂ ತುಂಬಾ ಮನಸ್ಸಿಂದ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ತುಂಬಾ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆ ಆಯ್ತು ನನಗೆ This has been the most successful rehabilitation program in the country which created a new paradigm to forest conservation. Every human emotion can be dealt with patience and caution. Nature, apart from giving us all that it has, also bears the brunt of our fury. Even during the ferocious heat of summer there is a ray of hope as more gluttonous humans get ready to gulp down the forest new life springs up at Bhadra during summers As the backwaters recede a small island gets formed in Bhadra and on this islet gathers thousands of river turns bhadra acts as a cradle of life for the river turns This is where the nest. This is where they see light for the first time. This is where they learn to live. And this is where they learn to embrace the skies and fly This is a place they will never forget for the rest of their lives Sigh of relief says more than a million words. The bond between a human being and mother nature is hard to explain and harder to comprehend. This is where he learned to smell, to see, to walk, to dream, to speak and to survive. This is where his soul belongs. This is where every story begins and this is where every story finds its true meaning. Thank you.